Well, good morning, everybody. I'm recording this video for the devotional for Monday morning, uh, December 27th. We're going to take on almost the rest of chapter 15. We're going to stop just a couple verses short of finishing 15 today. Uh, we're going to look at verses 18 to 25. Uh, we just ended up with Jesus giving us another commandment to love one another. And now we're going to have a bit of a contrast to that loving each other. So without further ado, let's jump into 18 through 25 here in the 15th chapter of John's Gospel. If the world hates you, be aware that it, it hated me before it hated you. If you belong to the world, the world would love you as its own because you do not belong to the world but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you, servants are not greater than their master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you. If they, if they kept my word, they will keep yours also. But they will do all these things to you on account of my name, because they do not know him who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not have sinned. But, how, but now they have no excuse for their sin. Whoever hates me hates my father also. And if I had not done among them the works that no one else did, they would not have sinned. But now they have seen and hated both me and my father. It was to fulfill the word that is written in their law. They hated me without a cause. Okay, well, they do have a, the, the, he's given us the cause. They hate him because he's revealed to them their sin. Um, here, we're contrasting again this to the loving each other. Here, the world's going to hate you um, if you don't behave the way they want. Um, we have kind of a stunning example of this in the world today with the whole idea of counterculture. If you don't succumb to that orthodoxy, um, they hate you. Um, and, and that's not what we're supposed to do. We want people to come to Christ. We want people to behave the way they're supposed to behave, the way the, 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 the commandments, to love one another and, and the other commandments. But we don't hate them if they don't do it. We, we still love them. Um, we, we want to bring them to the understanding that it's in their best, be, their best very best interest to, to come to Christ Jesus as their Lord and Savior uh, and the forgiveness of their sins. The world doesn't want that. The world wants to do its own thing. We don't, we try, we, we're doing a great thing. And I've talked about this before in the devotions. The world, the, the church actually, is doing a great thing these days of so much, much of the church, not all of it, of rationalizing away sin and, and trying to legitimatize sin um, and, and allow culture to wag the dog, so to say. Uh, culture is determining what's sinful and not the church telling the culture, you're sinning. And they're going to hate you because you say to them, listen, guys and gals, you're sinning. We still love you, but you're sinning. Uh, nobody, wants, nobody wants to hear you tell them they sin. They're sinning. And that's the problem here is that um, the world hates you because you are revealing to them their sin. They know it's sin deep inside themselves. Um, the more vicious, the more aggressive people lash back at you, the more you have to realize they know that they're sinning. They know that sin. They want to be left alone in their sin. They want you, in fact, to legitimatize their sin and put a stamp of, of approval on it. And the church has been doing that way too much. We've, we've gotten way caught up in that. And there's going to be um, a sea change at some point. And it probably won't be too long. Uh, there probably won't be too long that the things are going to snap back. Um, it's going to be interesting. Buckle up, folks. So um, that's as far as I'm going to take you Monday. Uh, we'll, we'll jump off on Tuesday morning. We'll be looking at chapter or verse 26 and 7, and then we'll jump into the first few verses of 16. But that'll be Tuesday. So with that, I'm going to let you go. Have a very blessed day, and please, please, please be a blessing to someone today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.